actually, I have a great story to share. Akira the Dawn, who we both know, yeah. he came and visited our school. And his son, Hercules, uh, sat in on some Socratic launches with us. And I, I brought, Akira came back to the office. We did this big um, show with him, with learners. And uh, he was a DJ, a world-class example that we brought in. And he was so gracious to come work with us. Uh, after, he, Akira went and observed a launch with his son in it. And he came back and I said, hey, what'd you think? And he said, it brought a tear to my eye mm -hmm. to think that these young people can treat each other with such respect and that they can disagree so politely mm -hmm. and that they can have their views heard and understood. Why don't the 11 year olds dominate the six and a half year olds? Often they, they do in, in the sense of they discuss more. They will more, they'll verbalize more. However, if you have been a six and a half year old that's been in that position and you've grown up in the system, you understand that it's to your advantage to help make sure the younger ones have their voice heard as well. And so what you'll see if you observe a Socratic discussion at Wonder is one, we start off with a polarizing topic about uh, two different choices that is embedding them in a story. But we follow what's called the rules of just conduct. And those rules of just conduct, how do we operate in a Socratic discussion? So the discussion leader might say, hey, which rule of just conduct do we wanna focus on today? And it might be uh, listening with our whole body. So it's like, and then, They'll hold each other accountable throughout the discussion to say, hey, remember we promised to listen with our whole body. Mm -hmm. What discussion. does that mean? It means that they're not turning around or they're not, you know. Uh, oh, they're paying attention. They're paying attention. And yes. how do they call each other out on that without that becoming bullying or dominating? It's, see, those are, I think what, what you'll find is those types of things are a product of a different type of environment. When you're in an environment that's based on mutual accountability mm -hmm. and based on peer-to-peer -peer learning, and you're building a tribe, mm -hmm. you see people within the tribe as like not as an enemy or somebody that's com competing with you, but somebody that you're trying to help the whole tribe move up. And that's mm. what we do see. Now, I tell parents all the time, hey, when you have a child that's six and a half or seven just entering into the elementary environment, like in there in a Socratic discussion, they're, they're absorbers. They're observing and absorbing information. It's one of the best ways they learn how to interact in one of those discussions by watching a 10-year-old or 11-year-old in those discussions.